Hello everyone. An interviewer asks you a question, what are parameters in SQL or what's the practical use of SQL parameters? Right? Let's take an example. Let's log into our LinkedIn or any other social platform. And let's navigate to so-called feeds or insights. For example, I'll take you to our insights. And let's go for insights in this way. Let's have a look at my screen carefully. Something like this. These drop down options are the parameters. I select 90 days, show results. Or for example, I'll say 365 days, show results. These selected items are called the parameters, the unknown input values at a design time. Those are the parameters and the percentage calculations are there, right? Those are the analytics. For example, last one year, we are 1000% increase on the content performance. So here, parameters are the unknown input values during design time and the supplied values at runtime. Those are SQL parameters. Let's take an example from the scratch. This is Sai Fanindra from SQL School, assuring you complete practice oriented classes right from the basic traditional learning methods. We have been here for more than 18 years, helping, serving, guiding many, many techniques techies across the globe. Thousands and lakhs of techies across the globe, day in and day out. Parameters are a part of our SQL basics concepts. Box one, database concepts, SQL sovereignty SQL course, a lengthy 400 queries course, step by step. Parameters are one of these yellow box. Let's understand what are parameters. And before we proceed, my request. Hit on the bell icon and subscribe to get notifications to ensure we don't miss any future videos. Let's get started. Let's understand slowly step by step what are parameters, how to define them in SQL database, Microsoft SQL database. So for this purpose, I'll be ready with a couple of scripts. For example, I have a database with me. A small table called employee info table contains employee ID, employee name, country, salary, okay? A small table containing four columns. Our requirement, how to report employees only from Canada, how to report employees only from USA. Now, how to report employees from a given country? Let the customer decide the country and our code, our script should be able to accept that given country and showcase the result. Means we don't know the country name during scripting time. So, we need to, we need to define a parameter to accept the unknown input value. During execution time, we have to supply value to the above parameter. How do we do that? Simple and straight. Let's see. Create procedure. Okay, create procedure. Some SP or USP. Give some procedure name. SP to report employees. And we specify an unknown input value placeholder, the parameter and prefix should be at the rate, at the rate country or any name of your choice of type say where care 20, 30, whatever. 
let's make it in a simple way so create procedure procedure name as what the same format of the country equal to select from employee info where country equal to what that particular unknown input value at the rate country like this so at the time of scripting at the time of designing the procedure we don't know the value of country but at the time of executing the procedure at the time of running the procedure we should know the value and let's understand here how to execute the above stored procedure how do we do that exec sp underscore whatever procedure name you have and country equal to whatever country you wanted india or for example say usa or canada like this so given a particular parameter that value goes to procedure input from procedure input it goes to the query query gets executed step one input step two query condition to get the result this is one style of implementing parameters in sql stored procedure object two step process there is one more flavor called functions let's understand how to do the same using functions how to report list of employees from a given country yes instead of procedure we can do using a function also how to do that let's observe carefully here create function for example function name any name is fine we say udf user defined function as per the syntax we need to have returns returns what let's see but what to return friends uh, i we are only focusing on uh, parameter okay what is procedure what is function a different story all together our actual agenda here is short session today what is parameter and how to define it in sql yes create function function name you are returning collection of employees array of employees what is that array or collection or very important enum we call enum enumeration means array to represent to represent an array or collection of enumeration of values we use something called table data type what is this it is a data type table is a data type for what to represent a collection of values now once we create a function how to execute the above function let's see once again we are concentrating on what are parameters here we are not concentrating on when to use procedure when to use function that is entirely a different concept altogether let's see how to execute above function okay if in case you want me to make a video on when to use procedure when to use function please let me know in the comment section and i'll do it okay let's keep ourselves engaged with communication in comments let's continue how to execute above function here it is this function name 
okay and if it is procedure we can say execute or exec if it is function we need to write select from select from function name and without this this is as if like a table as if like a view now a small add on with parenthesis we need to specify like this same way select from function name and something like this see here so parameters are unknown input values during the coding time scripting time design time and the value would be known during execution time if you want me to make video on when to use procedure when to use function let me know if you want me to make a video on default procedures default parameter for procedures or default value for functions let me know or if you want me to make a video on how to identify a table how to identify a view how to identify a function when to use what practically do let me know in the comment section and during my free time usually or weekends i love to do it let's learn each other let's learn the subject together It's very vast very beautiful sql vast ocean so what we learned now when to use parameter or what is parameter yes you know the query condition straight away right away select from table name where you wanted to have some unknown input value then comes parameter so what is parameter an unknown input value supplied to a procedure or a function an unknown input value supplied to a procedure or a function is defined as parameter and if you have any clarifications or questions if you wanted to have any guidance for your resume you wanted to have any guidance for your profile do let me know and glad to assist you and this is my contact number on the screen or maybe you can reach me on linkedin thank you so much for having me on your board bearing with me all these minutes understanding what are parameters thank you very much see you soon meet you there in our next video sometimes we'll be having youtube live classes for weekends live sessions or weekends for technical concepts on sql azure power bi python snowflake and other trending technologies let's get tuned thank you so much have a nice time see you soon in our next video thank you have a nice time take care bye bye